I, I once heard you say diversity, equity, and inclusion policies have been a failure to the black community. Can you elaborate what you meant when you made the statement? Well, diversity, equity, inclusion is no different than affirmative action. It's a remix, right? So we know affirmative action did not benefit black Americans. It has benefited white women more than any other group. Diversity, equity, and inclusion benefits white women more than any other group. It's the same thing. Then you get out of white women, you start to white LGBT, white disabled. You haven't even got out the white category yet. Then you start talking about all these other groups like Asians and you know Arabs and Hispanics and everybody else. And we always at the bottom of diversity, equity, and inclusion. There are more white women teaching diversity, equity, and inclusion than black women. This recently came out in a you know, uh, article I saw in even Forbes where a black woman wrote about how white women benefit the most out of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now the reason why white men don't like diversity, equity, and inclusion programs or affirmative action because they can't benefit from it. That's it. Actually, white men are the only group who can't benefit from that specifically, but they woman can. Now, they woman could be married to them and funnel those resources. It was te technically meant for black Americans back to their community, but you know, they woman don't really want to fool with them at times. And so they mad they can't get all the resources. So any black person fighting for diversity, equity, inclusion programs would just go back to fighting for affirmative action. That's all it is, is a remix. Uh, can you break down more how white women benefit from it? Well, white women is considered a, they got put in, when you, you hear them say women, think about that. You have, you say minorities, but yet they say women. And every time they say women, they've always meant white women because black women is considered in a quote unquote minority, right? So why did you have to have a separate category to say women, but technically it means white women. White women get all, can get all the benefits that was meant for black women, right? Or uh, any other woman who has some melanin to her. So that's the issue and problem. So even with this affirmative action, let's say the affirmative action decision, Supreme Court, when you know some people in the Asian community thought that would be actually good for them, but actually that was extremely bad and we kind of laughed at that decision while we didn't even care about it because the media thought that we was gonna be upset about, oh my God, they got rid of affirmative action in college. No, because we wasn't even benefiting from that. Uh, and can you talk about more how the Asians, I saw it seemed to really flip the script on them, you know, and Asians, uh, can you talk about how uh, they had a false hope in what occurred with affirmative action? Well, I, I will say, I'm not going to say all like we always going to say about some yeah. of them for sure thought that, well, we're labeled as the mild minority. We're liked a little bit better, definitely than the black people, because you have to understand when people come to this country and there have been many people been saying this, they've been told stay away from black Americans. Even some of our distant cousins from the African continent, Caribbean, et cetera, have been told to stay away from black Americans. Oh, we so scary. Well, in order to be on team white supremacy, you got to stay away from black Americans bottom line. So they thought that, well, more black people are getting into these Ivy League universities when technically, when you look at the numbers, more Asians were getting in than black folks were. But what ended up happening, how they screwed themselves, is that once now they remove affirmative action, these policies were getting them into the universities, now more white legacy students could get in. The legacy students is people who went there, the big donors to the universities. So now they screwed themselves when more white legacy students would get into the, the university versus not before they could actually got in. I mean, they are paying thousands of dollars to certain recruiters. They doing all these tests and now a white legacy student don't have to pay nothing but just show up and getting a spot. But they thought they was going to hurt the black man and woman because they believed the white supremacist to say, oh, them black people taking your spot. They don't deserve it. That's what happens when you believe the devil. He always wants to screw you in the end. And hey, I look at it like this, that, that's what you get. Trying to harm black folk, you hurt yourself in the end.